Here we go. Now, per capita GDP has exceeded that of Japan recently. And whether per capita GDP of Korea will exceed that of Japan is a matter of time now. So Japan's social economic position in the world has significantly gone down recently. So according to the World Economic Outlook report by IMF published in October, per capita GDP of Taiwan was 44,821 US dollars, which ranked in 24th in the world and the per capita GDP of Japan was 42,372 US dollars which ranked in 27th in the world. So economic growth uh, e economic growth rate of Korea and Taiwan is much uh, way better than that of Japan and the per capita GDP of either one has been already has been already predicted to exceed that of Japan from long ago. So in the result, Taiwan's per capita GDP has ex exceeded that of Japan recently. So, so far, the per capita GDP of Singapore and, and Hong Kong was much higher than that of Japan. In Singapore, per capita GDP was 99,935 US dollars in 2022 which ranked in fifth in the world. And in Hong Kong, the per capita GDP was $62,015. So, but population of these countries is million scale. Like population in Singapore is 5,730,000. And population in Hong Kong is 7,480,000, which means these countries are uh, city states. These countries are city states, so that there is a perspective that the numerical fact of the per capita GDP between Japan and these two countries are not easily comparable. In contrast, population in Taiwan is 23 million, million and 570,000. So it is for the first time that the per capita GDP of a country in Asia with this much population scale exceeded uh, that of Japan. So as I said, so economic growth rate of Taiwan and Korea neighboring countries of Japan is much higher than that of Japan. So if Jap Japanese government uh, takes no measure against this situation, there is no hope to revive back the Japanese economy. So Japan is no longer a country of wealth now. So IMF, IMF basically places 40 countries as advanced countries. So before the enforcement of abenomics and new phase of monetary easing policy in 2012, Japan was ranked in 13th in the world uh, in the World Economic Outlook report by IMF. But now Japan was ranked in 27th. So Japan has dropped the rank largely down for the last 10 years. So Japan is more likely, Japan is more likely to be removed from the group of advanced countries in the world in the early future. So the big factors that is lowering the big factors that are lowering the Japanese e economic performance is it is uh, depopulation in in aging society, and the government economic policies. So the depopulation in the aging society is like is the phenomenon that population with productive age that accounts for total population reduces and the labor population reduces as well in the results, right? So, but this issue has not started in the last 10 years, right? This, this problem has already been uh, recognized since 20 years ago or more. So the factor that made Japanese economy spur on deterioration it's nothing but the Japanese government policies. So yield rates of Japanese yen went down and uh, yen depreciation against US dollars uh, went significantly on so because of a new phase of monetary easing policy by the Japanese government. The government's yen depreciation policy will have the no prospect to revive back to re revive back the Japanese economy. So as long as we observe this Japanese economic situation now, 
So it's really natural trend that Japanese company don't want to stay in Japan. You know what I mean? So it's really natural trend that Japanese that some Japanese companies uh, really want to give up on doing business in Japan. That's unpredictable to prospect the sales and profit from domestic demands that is shrinking year by year and get out of this country and find another country with really good conditions that makes it possible to uh, grow business, right? So I think the big reason, I think the big reason that brings this situation is an extreme reduction of domestic demands by consumption tax increase and the reduction reduction of government expenditure by means of a reduction in public servants and public works in spite of economic re economic rece recession after collapse of bubble economy in Japan. So I think when the private sector uh, starts, I think the private sector started uh, hesitating to consume and make an investment because of economic recession, the Japanese government needed needed to give priority to economic economic recovery with tax reduction and fiscal uh, expansion and contrast. So this is a basic, I think this is the basic of fiscal policy when the state suffers from uh, economic recession, but Japanese government didn't do this. And, and the wedge restraint policy to get smile from shareholders of Japanese companies had its dark side and domestic consumption is shrinking and this fact connects to declining the competitiveness of Japanese companies in the world. So uh, I think it's better to now if I if I suggest one measure against this situation I think it is better to abolish the uh, competitive uh, consumption tax consumption tax limitedly as one of the countermeasure for rapid yen depreciation against US dollars and commodity price hike, right? And the government should focus on promoting individual uh, consumption growth and enforce the economic policy that encourages companies to accelerating the investment in order to release companies to retain earnings to eat into each market and proceed with the facility investment for self-sufficiency style closed economy. I think this is the best solution.